This week on Rush Outdoors, we're looking for whitetails in Orleans County, New York. Then we'll head to the Bluegrass State chasing longbeards. We'll explore some interesting tidbits with Tori's topics and, of course, member footage with Rush Uncut. Rush Outdoors starts right now. Awesome New York box. What a beauty. Ooh, I'm shaking. We got a nice 10 point down here in central New York, and I couldn't be happier. Nothing crazy about this. He's down. Nice buck on the ground. Great buck. That just happened. <laughs> what a rush. Rush Outdoors is brought to you by Runnings. Your home, farm, and outdoor store. Closed captioning for Rush Outdoors is brought to you by the Wayne County Department of Tourism. Look them up online at waynecountytourism.com. Hey everybody, Tim Andrews here, Rush Outdoors. Final stages of turkey season. I had a bird going this morning. When I, as soon as I got out of the truck, I didn't realize how close he was because the foliage. I got to the edge of the field here. He was right over there. End of story. End of turkey. That was the only response I got on birds this morning. But what I did get was a lot of responses on my cell phone. The fishing is really heated up over in Oak Orchard River, Orleans County. Time to go fishing. Hey, headed fishing this afternoon. Gotta grab some bait. What a great time to buy an arrow fishing lure. So I come here to buy bait, and where do I end up? In the archery department. While I'm checking this stuff out, why don't you check out my New York hunt from last year, early season whitetail, check it out. Hey everybody, uh, October 14th here, Orleans County, uh, my home county here, my parents' farm, uh, afternoon hunt. We're playing with the weather a little bit. It's calling for rain the last 20 minutes of the day, you know, the best shooting time. But you're not gonna shoot a deer sitting on the couch looking out the window, so. We're gonna give it all a try here and see what happens. And uh, we'll see what happens. Topics is brought to you by Vortex Optics. Hi, I'm Victoria Furtshaw, and welcome to Tori's Topics, brought to you by Vortex Optics. If you've been watching Rush Outdoors, you know how much we love our CBAs. And it's no doubt that popularity of muzzleloaders have grown tremendously over the years, especially in the areas that don't allow the use of rifles. Inlines gave hunters the ability to burn powder more efficiently, which in turn gave us better accuracy in our shots. But even with that, there's still some challenges that come with hunting with a smoke pole. As our very own Brian Kirby demonstrated here, you still gotta keep your powder dry. Better luck next time, Brian. Well, that's all the time we have this week for Tori's Topics, brought to you by Vortex Optics. For more information on Rush Outdoors, like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Before the calm, before the hunt, before the climb, 
It starts with a passion, and that passion starts at Runnings. The best gear and supplies from the most trusted brands in hunting. When you get the shot, will you be ready? Runnings, your home, farm, and outdoor store. Shadow Hunter Professional Grade Hunting Blinds. Innovation that lets you hunt like a pro. Proudly made in the American heartland, our systems elevate you to the perfect vantage point and are engineered for your total comfort and concealment. Built to a higher standard, the customizable Shadow Hunter system keeps you on top of your game. Start hunting like a pro today. Find your dealer at shadowhunterblinds.com. Located in the lush farmlands of western New York, Orleans County offers some of the very best fly fishing opportunities in the country. From golden brown trout and acrobatic steelhead to powerful Chinook, Coho, and Atlantic salmon, fishing prospects abound in the fall and winter. Whether you fish Oak Orchard or one of our other tributaries, you'll find uncrowded weightable waters to net one of these great species. Why not come and drop a line to our finny friends and see how fall fishing in Orleans County swims with color. I love New York. Innovation is in our DNA, bred from a long history of fierce competition and the survival of the fittest. Inheriting the results of nearly 50 years of PSE archery research and development, the Evolve Cam system delivers the smoothest draw cycle ever created without any compromise on speed. PSE Archery's Evolve Cam system. Evolve or get left behind. Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by Orleans County, Shadow Hunter Blinds, the New York Sportsman's Expo, PSE Archery, CVA, Beretta, Scent Lock, Nocturnal Lighted Knox, Block Targets, IQ Bosites, True Fire Releases, Coyote Eyewear, Hooray! North Country Troopers Assisting Troops, Bedford Camera and Video, and Carlson's Choke Tubes. It was hard to tell. I came to full draw right here. I had a tree in my way, I had to let it down. He got right there. <laughs> I had to move the camera because I'm solo filming, I'm a little tougher. And for some reason, that chattering squirrel that I've hated for the last few times out here, got his attention, he was staring that way at it. And at that time, I took the shot. It looked a little back, but at the angle, I think might be good. I'm excited, I'm gonna give him some time. I see my nocturnal flashing. That's a good sign right there, so. We'll see what happens. That makes it easy. The nocturnal, light like that. I don't know, I think it might be in good shape. Be around this bend right here, we'll know. Looking for blood, it's, he's not bleeding a lot. I had a few drops. Not worried, but it's starting to sprinkle. There he lays, right there. I've been sitting in the tree for 45 minutes, stomach turning, wondering if I made the great shot, and he's laying right there 125 yards away. I can't wait to get my hands on him, but my feet are so heavy with mud. No. Oh. Look at this beauty. Oh, that is a great looking New York buck right there. What a pretty, pretty deer. Nice tight legs. Here he is, man. Archery kill in Orleans County, New York. It doesn't get any better than this. What an awesome looking deer. I didn't realize he had a kicker on him. I was worried about the shot. There was no worry. He went, like I said, not very far. I filmed him, he was going north. He wasn't gonna come my way, so I thought, well, I'll just get pictures of him. I took a picture with my cell phone, he turned around, 
and you saw what happened. Awesome, awesome looking deer. My schedule here at home is very limited. I leave like in three, four days for Saskatchewan, Nebraska, Wyoming, so this was a welcome, welcome. I'm very grateful to have a deer like this here right in New York. Wow, what a great hunt that was. And it just goes to show you, the day that you don't think it's gonna happen, it usually does. Get out there and hunt. Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by Muzzy Broadheads, Glendell 3D Archery Targets, Millennium Tree Stands, Carbon Express, Real Tree, QAD Arrow Rests, Hunter Safety Systems, Whitetail Institute, Keystone Calls, Covert Scouting Cameras, Voss Signs, the Roxy, Thermacell, The Resort at Snug Harbor, and Briars Riverside Market. Okay, next up, pro staff for Keith Bartholomew, grabbing his Beretta, headed to Kentucky, chasing Longbeards. Okay, Brad and I are on our way down to Northern Kentucky for the spring opener, turkey season 2018. Our first hunt for the year. We're getting excited for this hunt. We've had good luck in years past down here. I do know we have some weather uh, forecasted to be not so good, a little bit of rain in the forecast. So we're gonna hunt in a pop-up ground blind. And we got a, a spot all picked out down here. We know right where we're gonna go. It's been really good to us in years past. So excited about kicking our year off here for 2018. Come along and join us.
just got smacked down on a really nice cobbler here. Carlson's did his job and the Beretta always does a great job, so pretty deep excited right now. Brad seen three birds over on the other ridge here come off the roost and it wasn't three or four minutes and this bird would come right up strutting right here in this uh, in this uh, food pot here. It's a, probably about a three year old bird. He's not got huge spurs, but he's got about a nine, 10 inch beard. He's a good bird. I'm pretty happy with a beautiful turkey. And uh, you know, we got it done here in Northern Kentucky. We're gonna go try to get Brad a bird. So pretty happy. Good start to the first day. Hey Keith, great hunt. That lease is really working out for you and uh, still waiting for the invite. Hi, I'm Rush Outdoors Pro Staffer Keith Bartholomew. And when I want to know what's going on in the great outdoors in New York State, I turn to the New York Outdoor News. Okay, now it's time for this week's Covert Corner brought by Covert Scouting Cameras. This week we feature a pick sent in by Pro Staffer John Lennox, two big old black bears in the southern tier of New York. That's why John and all of us at Rush Outdoors relies on covert scouting cameras. At the Whitetail Institute, there's a lot of things we could talk about, like pioneering the food plot industry, our extensive research, or our customer success and the world and state records we've helped produce. But what we don't talk enough about is our customer service, and like our product line, is by far the best in the business. We have the expertise to help you improve the quality of your deer and your deer hunting. So contact us today. The call and the consultation are free. We look forward to the opportunity to earn your business. The new Block Vault is the most technologically advanced archery target ever built. The four-sided shooting lets you shoot it close, long, precise, and real. Shoot field tips, broadheads, and expandables. Block Vault's high-density open-layered core and polyfusion design stops all high-speed bows and smaller diameter arrows with friction, not force. Block Vault, get locked in. What happens when revolutionary brands come together? Now infused with a Limashield, Hunter Safety System introduces the first ever scent control harness. Traditional sprays treat surface odors. A Limashield treats the source. Through heat fusion, the Limit Shield is bonded to every single fiber, destroying odor for the life of your harness. Only Hunter Safety System keeps you safe and kills human odor while you kill, well, you get the picture. See Odor Die at seeodordie.com. Before the dawn, before the decoys, before the call, it starts with a passion. And that passion starts at runnings. The best gear and supplies from the most trusted brands in hunting. When you get the shot, will you be ready? Runnings, your home, farm, and outdoor store. Here we go. Finally. Good buck. Rush on Cut is brought to you by Butler Sales and Service. Hey, what are you doing? Big D missed a few spots and obviously Norm's not gonna cut it. Get out of the rain. It's raining out there. Dude, you got all wet. <laughs> Welcome to Rush Uncut. This is the member-driven portion of our show where you, the member, can get your footage right here on our show. Hey, we're hanging out here at the Rush Outdoors cabin. We got Mike Butler over on the grill from Butler Sales and Service, and we're gonna get right into our first hunt. Yeah, while Mike's playing chef, why don't we get right into our first hunt. Rush Uncut member, John Lawrence. He's a new member this year. He's got a whitetail hunt for us right here in New York State. Roll that footage. Very light breeze, probably five miles an hour out of the um, southwest. I'm, I'm hunting a long strip of woods that parallels a clover field and a cut corn field. There's a clover to the north and cut corn to the south along with a bedding area to my south. Uh, this is a good place to catch deer cruising. We're hoping we can get it done today. 
catch us a doe coming through and uh, hopefully get a good shot and um, we'll see what happens. She went down. Um, we had two does and two fawns come in, and uh, they came right in. I had them at about 20 yards. I, I'm not sure. I gotta check her when I go get her, but I think I, I may have missed on the first shot. I'm not sure. She only ran about 20, 25 yards. Stopped. Presented another shot, and um, she was quartered away to me, right behind the shoulder. Pumped her. I could see the blood spraying as she ran. She only ran about 40 yards and piled up. Uh, we're gonna have to go check and look for my first arrow, see if I hit her or not. Or <laughs> if I miss, it'd be, it'd be pretty embarrassing, but it happens. Everybody misses once in a while. I was packing up to uh, to leave, to climb down and get her, and a nice two and a half year old eight pointer came in, and he went over and sent checked her. And then he started, um, he started to gore her with his antlers, circled her for a while, and then, uh, and then he ended up, he ended up walking right under the stand. He had uh, all this blood from my doe on her main beam. It was wild. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool thing to see. So we found her doe. We watched her go down. It was a, it was actually a pretty cool hunt. I had a whole bunch of does and fawns come in early and um, got some footage of them coming. I got them to about 15 yards. This was the biggest one of the bunch and uh, had a pretty decent shot on her. I was able to uh, get the camera rolling, draw, put the pin where I wanted to, shot, and uh, she took off. The shot felt decent, but I wasn't positive. My Luminoc didn't go off. and. Um, she ended up running about 25, 30 yards and stopped. And she was standing there. And I thought I couldn't see any blood, so I thought I missed. So I, I um, was able to knock another arrow while she was standing there and draw. She was quartered away and put a put a nice quartering away kill shot on her. She ran about 50 yards, piled up. Man, quick fact, guys. That was John's first successful filmed hunt. That was good stuff, man. I know he's got a lot of good stuff coming this year. Yeah, I can't wait to see more of it. Great job, John. Keep it up. Now, personally, guys, I prefer to fish in this kind of weather, or sunny weather. Now, Rush on Cup member Gordon Wood, he's a little different. Let's see what he's got to show us. Go back down there and fish you fucking catch me. Big bite, little fish. These things are awesome to catch. And that, that actually is, that, that's a bigger fish than what Brian Kirby can catch, our editor. Oh really, Gordon? What fish? All kidding aside, Gordon, nice fish. Ah, oh, smells so good. 
You almost ready, Mike? Tonight we're cooking on the Traeger 34. Tonight we're using our pellets. We're cooking around 300 for these appetizers. Very easy, push the button, set our temperature, and we're set, we're cooking, we're smoking, whatever we need to do with this grill. Great product. Hang on, Dave, we'll get to the food in a minute. Right now we have Rush on Cup member Rick Jr. with Picture of the Week. Beautiful dough with his muzzle loader. Everybody loves being a member, so if you want to become a member, it's easy. Log on to RushOutdoors.com, click on the Rush Uncut logo. It's that simple. Or you can come down to the Great New York Sportsman's Expo in January and sign up in person. Well, that's it for this week, so if you want more Rush Uncut, right back here next week. But remember, Rush Outdoors with, with a, a camera. camera. Rush on Cut is brought to you by Butler Sales and Service and by Traeger Grills. Fire Tower Doubles. Dovey Motors. Upstream Construction. The Rope Guys. Night Eyes Predator Lights. Iron Skillet Seasonings. Hunting Buddy. Carolina Carports. Four Seasons Archery. Froggy 97 of Watertown, Woody's Maple Syrup, Prime Cuts Barbershop, IBEW Local 43, and IBEW Local 1249. Okay, that's all the time we have this week. Thanks for tuning in. Also, when you need something for the yard, the farm, the lake, or out in the woods, come right here to Runnings. They have everything you need for your outdoor needs. All right, got my bait, I'm headed fishing. Speaking of fishing, if you're planning on any big fishing trips the next year or so, why not stop down to the Great New York Sportsman's Expo, Syracuse, New York, and State Fairgrounds. They have charter boat captains from all across the country. Come on down and check it out. From everyone to Rush Outdoors, I'm your host, Tim Andrus. We'll see you on the water. For more information on Rush Outdoors, like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. My phone's heating up. My phone's heating up. Early archery. I flubbed that up. Relies on covert scouting. Blah, blah, blah. I saw you do that. Freaking your eyes go up to the side there. Maybe you wonder what it is. The Rush Uncut. I'm your host, Dave Morgan. Up next. Yeah, hey, guys, you don't have to get that close to the mic. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I thought that's what it was for. You're good. <laughs> Am I shiny? No. I feel like I'm like really, I feel like I'm really hot right now. <laughs> you said it sounds stupid. It sounded good, though. You want to do one more? Well, yes, I do then. And welcome to Tori's Topic. <laughs> Why can't I say it? it smells like, um... Paint spirit? <laughs> okay. Dang. I'm done. <laughs>